are going to work on the Rose Parade. Um, as you guys know, um, this is a 24 by 30 linen and it is blocked in with oil. Um, this is a complete oil piece. Um, it's, as you can see, my uh, photograph is there on the right hand side. And from last time, this was my palette and we were using the, the pinks from Windsor Newton. This is a flesh tint. Zinc white. Olive green, Windsor Newton. And then lastly, Naples yellow, Windsor Newton. I like these colors. Um, they're very soft and I think that uh, as I work work along on this, um, it's going to give it a very soft and dreamy look. It's something that I want to achieve for this. I want it to have that. Um, they're modeling tea dresses and they're holding bouquets, beautiful flower bouquets. Um, and I want it to have like a wedding, a wedding um, kind of a feel to it. Um, you have the parade route and the people in the background, they're gonna be more subdued. Um, there's like little kids over here. I had the, um, my last video, this was this part was cut off so you guys couldn't see what I was doing. But there, there's a child here with her legs crossed and there's some other little kids here and then some people. So we're gonna put them in. And then there's people across the bottom here that you can see their legs and they're just lounging, enjoying the, the, the scene. Most of the people have hats on, so that's gonna be fun. I'm probably not going to be doing in very much detail on faces. I want them muted because the two ladies here are the focal point. Last time, I also uh, put some shadow work in for the ruffles. And while I was doing that, that process was giving me my, um, my grid. Um, and I was watching as I was going up the painting and down the painting in relation to where the, the height of her hat is to where the people end. There's also a tree that's coming down over here. I haven't decided if I'm going to put that in yet. It might be an app like later, once I get the majority of the painting in. Um, the, the paint has dried. I can still move it. It's very tacky. So whatever I put on here now, I'll be able to blend. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom here because I have some color left here that I would like to use. And we haven't decided on, or I haven't <laughs> decided, I'm talking in like the <laughs> narrative, <laughs> we, um, what color the dresses are gonna be yet. Um, they could be a pale pink, they could be a very off a white color, I'm not sure. I've been doing some research on the, um, the dresses of the, of the era, 1917 and I, I found some beautiful up close pictures of the sleeves and the flowiness of the sheerness that this particular woman has on her sleeve over here. So this is still the same paint. It hasn't dried yet. I could still, it's still workable. So um, I'm gonna open up my little thing here. I think this is the one that has the linseed oil. Yeah, this is linseed oil. And then this one. Oh, this is linseed oil. The other one is a fast dry medium. Let's see, let me feel it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pour in some linseed oil. I've been working with the linseed oil and I like it. 
it takes a little bit uh, longer for it to dry, but um, working with it as a glaze, um, you don't need as much paint and the blending and technique uh, is very, very nice. So, Yeah, all this pink is pretty much dry, so I'm going to be working with this color since I have it here. And it's in here, so it's kind of a beigey. It's yellow, but it, it's more on the beigey color. So right in here, I'm just going to add this down in here. I'm just going to work the color. So, it's, so you can see the consistency and I don't want too much paint because I don't want it to drip at this point and I'm just pushing the paint down. You know, there was too much oil right here so I'm, I'm picking that oil up with my brush and I'm blending it up. She's got two ridiculous ruffles at the bottom of her dress here. So we are going to accentuate that. And earlier I had put, I pushed the pink color down here. So this is actually a really good time to, to put this other hue in here, this yellow, this Naples yellow. And we can see that it's going around. So I'm going up on the dress a little bit. So it gives that illusion that the dress is, is making that round curve. So that is how these ruffles are gonna be. And then over on this side, they, they like flare out because she's kicking her dress with her foot as she's walking. So we're just putting little dabs there and up in here because this one really flares. And now what I'm gonna do is just kind of go up the dress a little bit with this color. And we'll give it a line. And in my last video, I was talking about these shadows in here. There. going to stand up in a minute and take a look but let's get in this bottom one and there's a little bit of a peekaboo here of the crowd after grandma sally's uh, ruffles so she's got like ruffles here and like ruffles here and then a big ruffle here And that big ruffle here is at the bottom of these three ruffles. So we're gonna put the edge of this ruffle here. And then she has another ruffle here. And then another one up here. So that's gonna give me the gauge of where those ruffles are in relation to her dress. And her dress comes all the way around and this is the edge of her ruffles that stick out over here. So I'm just gonna and 
we're going to do the same thing we did over here. I'm just going to bring this up here. And what this is going to do is it's going to start those shadows. in the the creases of the dress it's going to give it that flow that flowy look see already so i'm going to let that dry i'm going to let this dry i see a pretty heavy line kind of going like this which goes in step with the way her leg is coming down. And this line follows her foot. Now we're gonna put it like this, just so I know that it's there. And we're gonna do it real small at first just so that we know that the, the foot is there and her leg is back here and her ruffle is actually comes down, down to here. It's just up, it's just up on this one here. So we're just, there's a bottom ruffle here. Her, her leg is back here. And all you see is the edge of her foot here. And you can see her leg in between that ruffle here. So I'm just putting these small little spots so that I know that that's where her back leg comes back here, okay? Now, from the edge of her hat, this leg is coming down and she's pointing her toe and this shoe is really pretty so I'm only putting a little bit of color here because I want to get this really correct. So this has a little bit of a line here and then this green is coming down, which is part of the shadow that I thought that that's where the foot was going to be. But I'm not making any definite, definite um, decisions on this just yet because I need to have room in case I need to adjust so this foot is not going to get completely blocked in yet we know where this one's going we know where this one's going we know where that one's going that other foot it may it may be coming down right here. So there's a decision to make here and I have to sip, step back and look. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. I like how her shoulder's coming down. 
um, her eyelet here is looking good. Like this is this is her sleeve. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this color here, right there, and I'm just gonna color this in just a little bit. pushing the paint and that is that is good um, I'm gonna push this stuff up there's a little bit too much oil there and I don't want drips okay. and I think that I am going to stop and wait for next session there's icy lines here okay and that's that's it for today small little small little steps we're gonna let it dry and that's how you build um, if you get afraid of it um, you just need to step back let the oil paint dry just a bit because then it will, will happen is it gets a little bit tacky and that tackiness you can go back and kind of a little bit reactivate it with placing a little bit of oil and then you can blend but I'm just gonna stop for right now and thank you for watching